Hello. Yeah, I just got a quick little video. It's more of a rant than anything. But I I just feel like it has to be said. Okay, so last year I was uh still playing on my computer. Like um it was an older system and I had built it whenever I was in like high school. But it had like an RX five eighty. Which, uh, if you don't know, it's not, like, the best graphics card. But, I mean, like, you could do quite a bit with it, you know? And I had, like, a Ryzen 5 CPU, but it was, like, an older generation. But still, again, it's still, like, usable. Like, I still got, like, 144 FPS in Apex. Like, no problem. See, I had big dreams, though. Big, big dreams. So, I wanted to play Hogwarts Legacy, which... It's been out for a while, but I just never had the chance because I I just didn't have the money, you know. But I finally had the money, and I figured, why not, right? Oh, uh. Revelio. Okay, oh, there's a chest. Oh, man. Anyways, like, why not, right? So, uh, I strap up, go to Steam, look at Hogwarts Legacy, and it's like... 35 50 bucks so I'm like well if I'm gonna spend that much money I want to be able to actually play the game so what I did was I saved up some money and I got like a RX 6600 which I watched all oh, like a lot of YouTube reviews saying that that was like a great GPU you could get like great FPS and that's true I get like great FPS and I, I even bought like a monitor like a huge MSI monitor which I want to say, if you didn't know, 31 inches was come on big. In, come on in. Oh, it definitely is. Because, oh, sorry, she's. I gotta get away from people talking. Like it, it trips me up. Anyways, so I got by this like huge monitor, which 31 inches is actually a lot bigger than you probably uh, realize. <laughs> Nevertheless, it, it's it's perfect for gaming, right? It's like perfect. Everything is perfect graphics are looking good everything and so I like I hop on Hogwarts Legacy and um, as I'm starting to play like it's fun like there's a like, troll in the beginning like there's all kinds of like stuff in this game that are like references to the movie and it's like great but for like two hours <laughs> because like after two hours like the wow factor kind of like starts to go away and you realize that you're spending like hours and hours and hours in this game for like literally no payoff like time and time again I would like go to complete a mission oh that's kind of cool oh my god wow oh, actually but time and time and then again I would like go to like complete like a small quest and like as it turns out the only thing I got for that quest was like a robe like or, or glasses that weren't even like higher level than what I had and like I would spend like hours on these like random little like challenges they have like trying to get like through like the stupid mazes <sighs> anyways like I, I was expecting like playing this game that like you're gonna be able to play with your friends I was gonna be able to like invite my girlfriend like she's gonna be able to, to buy the game and like we're gonna be able to go together and like go through school like together anyways yeah but on top of all that like I was kind of hoping like you know you'd be able to go to school with like Snape and like Professor McGonagall and like all the all the characters that you grew up watching on like screen you know or at least someone related to them and like there while there is people like in the game that are like references to the, the Weasley family and Harry Potter Bodega. Oh, how do I yeah, yeah. while there is like references like there's almost no resemblance and there's literally as far as I've gotten there's like no mention and uh, another another part of this game Rebellion. that like really really bothers me is like okay so brooms like everybody wants to be on a broom right like I don't think there's a single person who watched Harry Potter who wasn't like oh my gosh imagine like all the places I could go with a broom like 
to go there. What? <laughs> okay. Okay. That weird dude. Anyways. So, like, yeah, so, like, the broom is probably, like, one of the best Lose. selling points of this game. Dude, you have to get to level 10 in order to get to a broom. <laughs> I think, uh, I think it took like 24 hours of in-game time for me, which, I don't know if that's a lot for everybody else, but like, that was like the main selling point of the game, that's like the only reason why I continue to play the game even longer, is cause, well, broom, you know, like I can actually go explore now, but like, even when I went to explore, it's just like, like neat little rooms like stuff, like well done maps, and like, like good detail, like high quality, you know. But it was just for like here. I, I don't know if So this is like the stuff that you get, right? Did that go the way you thought it was gonna go? Nope. And like as much as like, you know, we all need armor for protection, like it feels like it does literally nothing. Like, it does not matter. And that's not to mention like the combat in this game sucks. Like, it's, it's cool, but, like, all you do is, like, shoot a red little dot the whole time. And I, I, I get it, but, like, I kind of, like, thought they were going for, like, a, a Dark Souls kind of, like, feel for it, but... I don't know, I guess not, but, um... Yeah, another thing that I wanted to go over was the quests. There are a ton of quests in this game, and they all give you, like, n next to nothing. Like, what? Appearances? Like, I don't care about what I look. Aloha Mora. Those, those are, like, to unlock, like, uh, doors. It's kind of like lockpicking and, like, Skyrim and stuff like Games like that. Like, these are, like, oh. Oh, don't even get me started on the Room of Requirement. The Room of Requirement is, like... It's so neat, and it has, like, so much that, like, it could be. But, like, because of, the, like, the way the game is, it's, like, literally, like, no actual payoff for your room of requirement. So, like, I hear that, like, further you go along, like, you'll be able to, like, tame creatures and, like, just in general, like, get so many resources from the room of requirement. But, like, I... Like, I don't understand why you'd want to be collecting resources, like, in a game that's about, like, a wizard world. Like, it should be, like, all focused on, like, exploring or action-adventure or storytelling. And I would say, like, uh, as, f as far as storytelling goes, like, this game's actually pretty cool, you know? The storytelling is not, it's not bad. I'm gonna see if I can't pick a. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of my quests are just like lame quests. Like, why would I ever? I know how long that would take to do some of these things. And I I know that it would be a complete waste of time because all I would get like is a piece of armor. And that's not even to mention like the. RX 6600, the card that I got, like, you know how I said, like, the R RX 580, um, like, it could run 144 on Apex, which I love Apex, by the way, but, uh, the, my RX 6600 can run Apex, like, around 300 FPS, like, constant, like, don't gotta worry about the settings or anything, and it runs Hogwarts Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy, like, around 75 FPS, like, on normal settings, 90 90 usually but 75 whenever it's like just bugging but like one thing that i will warn you like if you just like you know what screw you i still like hogwarts and i love harry potter so i'm still gonna buy the game because i never played it i just have to warn you if you do not have over 16 gigabytes of ram which is what i have you will get like this constant stuttering like sometimes it's worse than others but like Whenever I put my uh, settings on, like, in order to, like, er, I get more FPS, because I do not have RAM, like, a lot of it, I, I just one more stick, I think, too. Because I don't have that RAM, like, it stutters, and I do 
like my game does worse and looks worse now too you know